From Crime 2 News at noon, we are talking about plenty of wind headed our way. We're also seeing some very cold temperatures, morning fog, and the possibility of a couple snow flurries along the way. Well, the busiest travel days of the season are here. We will help drivers stay safe as they head out on the roads. And Tom's Turkey Tuesday is underway right now at the Spokane Arena. What you need to know to take home a Thanksgiving meal. Crim 2 News at Noon begins now. Well, thanks so much for being with us here on Crim 2 News at Noon. I'm Jen York. We'll be checking in with Laura Papetti in a moment at Tom's Turkey Tuesday. In the meantime, we are expecting the wind to really pick up tonight, increasing the danger for Thanksgiving travel. Evan Durrani is in the Weather Center now with more on what we can expect. Hi, Evan. Good afternoon, Jen. Yeah, we are really seeing not only very cold temperatures out there and some snow flurries, but now starting to see wind pick up beginning this evening. That's when uh, uh, we'll see a wind advisory take effect along with a high wind uh, warning. Temperatures right now around the region are still in the 20 in some spots. Look at Spokane at the International Airport. 27 degrees to all of our friends bearing the cold down there at the Spokane Arena for Tom's Turkey Tuesday. Well, we are with you. Uh, it is cold this morning and now into the afternoon. 31 degrees in Wenatchee, 32 in Sandpoint as we speak. The good news at least, satellite radar is staying mostly clear. We are seeing a couple snow flurries pop up and we've seen them all morning long. Nothing is accumulating to all that much, but we have seen some spots late last night and into early this morning that have seen some accumulations. Now, really between about 5 a.m. and now things have stayed light. We've seen a couple snow flurries pop up that have brought some dustings to an area or two, but uh, otherwise staying pretty calm into the next couple hours. But the change that we see is in the wind speed. Notice at the bottom of your screen those easterly winds at five miles per hour over the next hour. Those winds jump up to 13 miles an hour by 1 a.m. Double digit sustained wind speeds. We're expecting gusts in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range. Certain spots of North Idaho are facing 50 to 60 mile per hour gusts. So coming up, we'll take a look at a map that will kind of lay out exactly where we'll be seeing the highest wind speeds and uh, where you're going to definitely need to maybe put away those holiday uh, decorations that you've got outside right now. It's coming up in a bit, Jen. All right, Evan, thank you. Well, Thanksgiving is almost here, and that means many of you might be heading out on the town. Triple A reports more than 55 million people will actually travel more than 50 miles from home for Thanksgiving, and this will be the second highest travel season since 2000. One study says Washington is the sixth safest state for Thanksgiving travel. The safest state is Washington, D.C., the most dangerous Mississippi. No matter where you are headed, we are wishing everyone safe travels for the holiday. And for those of you headed to western Washington, we are taking a live look right now at Snoqualmie Pass. You can see some snow on the side of the roads there, but maybe some blue skies right now on the pass. The road is bare and there are no restrictions in place. However, experts say prepare for blowing snow later today on top of the pass. In Colorado, a bit of a different story. A storm this week dropped nine inches of snow in Denver, but other areas in the state saw up to 20 inches of snow. You can see this video here. This is from our Denver sister station. A meteorologist there caught a man skiing in the streets of Boulder. Looks like a pretty good time. Blizzard warnings, though, are still in effect for some areas of Colorado. Meteorologists say the snow should end tonight. But people traveling to Denver for the holiday should check their airline. Crews had to cancel more than 460 flights in and out of the Mile High City due to snow. Well, this morning, all flights from Spokane to Denver were canceled. Some flights this afternoon, though, are still on time. Well, Tom's Turkey Tuesday is underway at the Spokane Arena. Volunteers are distributing 11,000 Thanksgiving meals. Creme 2's Tom Sherry, the head turkey himself, is there right now. Tom, what do you have for us? Well, Jen, this is absolutely amazing. A lot of love today in downtown Spokane. We're here at uh, Veterans Memorial Arena. It is Turkey Tuesday, and we're distributing all those generously donated meals that we raised on Friday and Saturday. We're doing about almost 8,000 of the meals here at the arena. We've got another 15 to 1,800 out at the Spokane Valley Food Bank, and then we've got them all being distributed in Coeur d'Alene, Colbert, Colfax, all the, wherever Second Harvest has a uh, uh, like a satellite food pantry. So uh, they're getting out there in the community and they couldn't do it without you and absolutely couldn't do it without great businesses like Starbucks ladies and gentlemen. Starbucks let me tell you what Starbucks 
Here's Amanda. She's the she's leading the, the charge today here with Starbucks. And you guys put on just to refresh everyone's memory, just about a week ago on a Tuesday between the hours of three and five in the afternoon, all of the profits from your handcrafted coffee beverages were donated to Tom's Turkey Drive. You've totaled it all up. What have you got for us? We have got a check today for $15,915. Yes, almost $16,000. You see all the folks outside lined up in the road to get in, and then you see the long line going down. That's all because of Starbucks. And the enthusiasm that uh, all of your workers, your baristas have there is really just absolutely amazing. You pre-promote it in your store so that your regular customers will make a point to come back on that farm following Tuesday and then we always hope additional customers will come in as well. I, I agree Tom. We uh, This is our fifth year yeah. and we're super excited. This is the most we've ever ever been able to gather. So this team behind me is the one that brings it all together by telling the customers about it when they come in and we are just all, so excited to be here today. We're actually all going to go volunteer after this and go uh, carry out to people's cars. So, okay. Um, well, it's a cold stoked. day and we appreciate you being here. Thank you, 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 thank you. Come with me over here. Come with me over here. Oh, more good Good stuff. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you know them, you see them, you drive through those beautiful countrysides and pastures, and you see those beautiful animals out there, and those are your dairy animals. All the milk that you're drinking, your dairy gold milk, is produced by local farmers like the Latrell family right here. We've got Stephanie, and I've also got uh, uh, Kayla right here, who is with the Washington State Dairy Ambassadors. We now, because of your generosity, local dairy farmers in Washington State, through Dairy Gold, are giving away 11,000 half gallons of milk with the Thanksgiving dinners. We're so excited to partner up with Krim and Tom's Turkey Drive for the 20 years. Yay! Yay! And so we're happy to do that. And we just want to know, the public to know, and everybody to know that we love our public and we just want to give back to them. And you're doing a great thing today because cloudy skies, very little vitamin D getting down to us from the sun. So where are we getting our vitamin D now? Milk. Milk. We love milk. Thank you, Washington State Dairy Farmers. You're incredibly generous donation. It's all local families just helping other local local families that are hitting a rough spot and boy that meal's not complete without that milk and you guys stepped up in a huge way years ago and we're so very very thankful thank you Washington State Dairy Farmers and Dairy Gold we appreciate you look these are some of the folks coming in right now so we're getting them out of the cold we got a long line going down we uh, we've had a, we opened the doors at 10 o'clock this morning we're gonna be open until 5 this evening or until the dinners run out uh, we do have a bit of a line out there temperatures are in the upper 20s, but we are moving them in awfully, awfully quickly, so that's good news. We'll have more from the Spokane Arena, and if you're a family in need, you need a Thanksgiving dinner, come on down. We'd love to help you out. All right, folks, we send it back to you. A lot of love here at the arena. Sending it back to you. Tom, our head turkey, thank you so much <laughs> for that report, and thank you to all of our volunteers and generous donors. We could not have done it without you. Evan and I were down at uh, the arena uh, just a little bit ago, and it really goes a long way. So many thank yous are extended to uh, everyone who made it possible today. All right, 1208 now. Today is also the last day to drop off treats to troops donations. And with your help, we will send packages to our military members serving overseas for the holidays. So some items that we're looking for include protein bars, stationary supplies, hygiene wipes, gums, things that are easy to ship, right? And that they'll last as they, they get overseas. So you can drop off those items at any Washington Trust Bank location. Again, thank you to everyone who's donated to all of our programs today. We certainly couldn't have done it without you. 1209, now you're watching Creme 2 News at noon.